everyone welcome back i hope you're still doing really well i've got a well it wasn't my favorite it very promising but for me failed to hit the mark it's licensed to bite by carrie pulkinen it's a kindle unlimited novel that the premise is friggin' hilarious we got this dumb pampered chick that is yeah she's has a travel blog that she does and she's in New Orleans with her best friend to you know research another entry for her blog and as it's New Orleans get trashed and eat a lot of food and while trashed she meets a hot vampire because that and yeah ends up getting turned into a vampire except for this is a big drawback because as we find out when a bartender gets like a little paper cut basically she freaking almost hits the floor passing out at the sight of like a drop of blood and now she needs blood to live hilarious right nice and messed up and oh this is gonna be fun just a short little like 160 pages and it would be Except for I want to smack the crap out of the stupid freaking main character, Jane Anderson, who speaks about herself in the third person. And is every bit the pampered, obnoxious little brat that you would imagine of some, you know, the only daughter of the governor of Texas. So she has been raised, patted on the head, and told she's the most specialist thing in the whole world. And nobody can do anything to her because she's a princess and daddy won't let it happen. And that conveys over into her, you know, undeath. Of, yeah, she ends up a vampire because she's a freaking moron and gets herself killed. And he saves her by turning her. And she's an absolute brat from the word go of... Yo, know, she will do stupid things and treat people like crap and think, well, <laughs> I'm cute, do this for me, okay? <laughs> and doesn't even cross her little non-existent brain that somebody would say no to her. And then gets bitchy when somebody does, in fact, say no. Like, she gets mad that, how dare this guy not hand her shoes to her? I mean, she told him to do it, and then she reached for him, and then she wiggled her fingers at the shoes while staring at him. And he still made her lean over like three inches and grab them. How rude. Because, you know, nobody makes Jane Anderson do what she doesn't want to do. Everybody does what Jane Anderson says to do. And yes, that is how she talks. She doesn't say me or I know it's Jane Anderson this and Jane Anderson that. As if that's not annoying enough and she gets called out on it. And what, you know, she, there's also, you know, you think growing up politician's daughter, she would understand laws and rules, but those are for, you know, as cliche as it is, rules are for people that don't make rules, not the people whose daddy makes them. So every time you turn around, she's breaking the laws of the vampires, which the rule for that is you break the law, you get staked. And the ones that run the place are, some of them are sleazy. And you kind of want bad things to happen to them, but at the same time, you really want them to, the bad things to happen to these, you know, vampire cops, basically, after they have staked this brat. And Harley's, well, you wouldn't dare, because my daddy's a human governor in Texas, and don't call me princess, but I totally am. Yeah, that that is her attitude throughout the whole thing. And she's having this whole freak out, because, oh my gosh, I'm a vampire. And, like, you should be really nice to me because I'm dealing with this. Oh, you're having trouble dealing with something because you had, like, a life-altering trauma. And this is exactly, like, the situation that caused that life-altering trauma? Well, mind over matter. I said get over it and you do what I, Jane Anderson says. So get over it and prove that you're totally in love with me by doing it, like, instantly. As, as soon as I say it, you should do it. Yeah. So I could not get into this book. I love the premise. I liked her friend. I liked the the other two vampires in this book that were giving her crap. But my annoyance at, you know, that character just obliterated everything. Like, 
him, yeah, he would call her princess and she'd get obnoxious about it. She'd call him Edward because he's all dark and broody and wan because he's been a vampire for 25 years and he didn't have a good time of it. So, and he gets really mad about that because his name is not Edward, it's Ethan, thank you very much. Eh, same friggin' thing. And then we've got her best friend Sophie that's like, yeah, you are kind of an idiot, but don't worry, you think you're a genius? You almost got us murdered twice, you did get killed. You're easy to manipulate despite thinking you're a genius because your daddy looks after you. So, everybody else I like, the premise I like but I wanted the main character staked. <laughs> so, do with that what you will. Maybe, you know, annoying characters don't really annoy you or you're like, yay, I don't know. So, may I was fooled into reading this and I'm glad it was a freebie since it was, you know, Kindle Unlimited, but if I'd paid for it, I'd have been mad. But it is thankfully a very short story. I read the one, I will not be continuing this series, so. Hopefully, you know, you've either, now you have warning, you will make not the same mistake as I did. Maybe that still sounds good to you, but you've been warned and I will see you soon. Bye. Happy reading.